All right, so today is Sunday and it's the Bathurst 1000. So most of my day is going to be spent right here on the couch. So we'll take you through uh, what the race is like and what it means to uh, sit here and watch Bathurst all day. So we've been watching Bathurst for a few hours now and they've run clean over 80 laps without a safety car, which for as long as I can remember just doesn't happen. There's always safety cars at Bathurst. So I think a lot of the teams, and they've been saying it, are waiting for a safety car um, so they can get catch back up because Red Bull have been way out in front, the Wing Cup Dumbrell car. So we'll see, but this is the longest stint I can remember of uh, no safety car period. So the current setup is on the big TV, I have Bathurst going on. And then down here on the laptop, I have Formula One. So it's all going on, both races are going. Uh, I said before, I thought it was 30 laps, but it was more like 50 laps to go at Bathurst. Now they're inside the last 25 laps to go there. and. We're 18 laps into the 53 lap race in Japan. So good to watch. Um, just tons of motorsport. So just had a crazy incident at Bathurst. One of the guys punted one guy off. Then they rejoined and then there was a huge accident behind him after he jumped on the brakes to try and readdress it, which was Wing Cup. I think Wing Cup probably needs to be punished for that one. He, he jammed on the brakes mid-corner to readdress and I just think that that's... Pretty tough uh, on Tanda, but anyway, it's going to be interesting finish. They've got eight eight laps to go there, and we've got eleven laps to go in the F1 now, and that's ticking along all right. Rosberg's in front. I think it's Verstappen second. Interesting F1 race actually. So there's a lot going on. This is exciting. On finish to Bathurst, and also the finish to the F1 is really close as well. All right, so there's been a crash. Um, Rick Kelly's got it out of the fence, but they've got the safety car, so I reckon we'll have one lap of safety car and then three or four laps of crazy racing to the end here at Bathurst. Um, again, like the F1 last weekend, I can't show it because there's restrictions around what you can and can't uh, put up on the TV. But he's just locked it up and gone straight on to Forest Elbow, Rick Kelly in the Nissan, and pretty much wrecked the front end of his car. All right, so there's a weird situation too. Jamie Wincup got a penalty for that incident I talked about earlier. Um, but he's actually at the lead of the race. He's got a 15-second time penalty. And then you've got Will Davison behind him and then Van Gisbergen. And um, it's going to be pretty crazy sprint to the end. And there's only like a couple of laps. What, three, le three left in this race and four left in that one. Um, looks like Rosberg's going to win here, he's way in front, so this is uh, going to be nice and close, but Verstappen and Hamilton are having a crazy duel over here. So one lap left here, two left up here, oh, Hamilton's getting close here in the F1, oh he's going around the outside. So Hamilton's complaining over here that Max moved under braking, and here these guys are nose to tail with Two laps to go, two laps to go. Ros Rosberg's uh, on the last lap. So Rosberg's gonna win here, he's, on, uh, he's got about half a lap to go. And then Van Gisbergen and Will Davison are really close to each other. It's just too much going on. Too much motorsport. Nico's through the last corner now and he's gonna win the Japanese Grand Prix. Yeah, good drive from, from Rosberg there. And then Verstappen second and Hamilton third. So now, I think Dan's going to be sixth. And now, we're super close here. Oh, they just touched into Forest Elbow. Van Gies gave 
Davis in a little touch. Oh, last lap. Last lap at Bathurst. So it's going to be a Holden victory at Bathurst, but which Holden? It's not close enough for Forrest Elbow. But he's going for the wind-up. So we're coming down into the chase. And they're not allowed to pass here because there's a yellow flag. There's a car off. So he's got to get a good run last corner. Nah, Davison's got a good run out of the chase. He's going to get it. Oh. Nah. Will Davison's going to win it. Nose to tail over the line. Oh. That was so close. Will Davison's won it. So Techno Autosport uh, has won. Bathurst. So they've just said that was the closest Bathurst finish in history. So yeah, it was pretty phenomenal. It was less than a car length, 0.3 of a second or something like that. It was tiny. Or 0.13, sorry, of a second. So they're just getting to the podium, uh, just parking cars up and about to head up to the podium.